Hello, guess where I am? I'm in the middle of a PowerPoint slide. Yes, you can put your camera now inside a PowerPoint slide with PowerPoint Cameo. This is fantastic if you use this in class for your recordings and for your live online classes. If you want to know how to do this, then go on and watch my video because I will show you how to. So before you're actually able to use your camera in PowerPoint and therefore for Cameo, you need to make sure that your PowerPoint is actually permitted by the system to access your camera or cameras, depending on how many you have. To do that, you need to go into settings and that is the same for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And to find those settings, I'm just gonna go ahead and write camera per missions and Windows is quite clever that way and shows me where I can do these things, where I can set those permissions. And the one that we're after is choose which apps can access your camera. Now what you can do here is check let apps access your camera switched on. And also right below here, let desktop apps access your camera. PowerPoint is a desktop app, so you need to toggle this to on in case it is off. And unfortunately, this is a universal toggle. So in order to enable PowerPoint to access your camera for Cameo, you need to toggle on let desktop apps access your camera. Once you've done that, then you're good to go in PowerPoint itself. To include myself in my slides, I will need to go up to insert, then all the way to the right on the ribbon where you see Cameo, click on Cameo. And you see that here on the bottom right, we have a rectangle included, a little camera icon that is uh, stricken through. And then you also see this little icon here, and this is the placeholder for the camera. Now by default, the preview is switched off. So let's change that. You need to select the Cameo right here. And then here on top, you see the context sensitive camera format menu. You click on that. And then here on the left, you see preview. Now it depends on your individual setup. Do you have several cameras or only one camera? In case you have several cameras, you can select the one you want to apply to the slide. So you click the down arrow here, and then you would see the cameras that you would have on your system. If you don't have that, if you only have one camera in the system, then you would only see one camera down here. So not much would change. And then all you need to do is click on preview. So, and here I am. Hello, I'm in my PowerPoint slide. I can resize this shape like so. Nothing unusual there. Um, maybe I want a different border around my shape here. So I can go up to the menu and uh, select a different border. Yeah, so really, According to your personal taste, there's a couple of presets here that you can play around. How about no border? Mm, maybe not. If I want a different shape, such as this circle, yes, it's a really nice shape. It doesn't take too much space on your slide. Similar to the rectangle before, I can choose different border styles for this circle. There's a few other preset shapes that you can check out. For instance, this diamond here. That's a pretty small space you have around your face here. But you can also go for the hexagon. Oh, the hexagon is very nice. Look at that, very 1970s style here. So we're free to experiment a bit with different shapes, but if none of them do it for you, then camera shape here on the right hand side give you even more options, namely any shape like this arrow. Now things are really looking up, huh? Well, let's pick one more shape here in this menu and let's pick this shape here. And uh, well, it's an interesting shape. Not quite sure about it, but I want to show you that you can basically select any of these rectangles, basic shape, block arrows, you name it, you can pick it as a shape for your cameo. How about a different camera border color? So you can pick any color you like, you can do some branding if that's something you need to do, or a favorite color if you want. Yeah, really any color that you have available. You can even go for camera effects. For instance, you can give it a soft edge or maybe a shadow. I really like the hexagon, especially on this first slide. 
What I want to do now is I uh, want to copy a couple of those cameos onto other slides. This is very simple. So you make sure that your cameo is selected. Control C yeah, for copy on your Windows keyboard. And then you can go over to your other slide where you want this copied into like so. And then just Control V or paste. And there I am. I just need to reposition myself and maybe resize it a little bit if needed. This looks good in this case, I'm very prominent, so I can check my beard if it's alright, and then can go ahead and do this on some other slides. Just to show you one more time, I have created a circle cameo, I'm just resizing it a little bit, you see this is really nice here in the corner, doesn't take too much attention away, but at the same time uh, helps your students to see you in the slide. This is great from an accessibility point of view because they can see you right next to the teaching content. Brilliant. What's not to like about that? So you can see that PowerPoint Cameo is very easy to set up and very easy to customize. Shapes, coloring, positioning, size, no problem at all. It is also very beneficial to students that have the need to see you next to the content. Students that need to read your lips, to see your facial expressions, to make sense of what you are showing them on screen. It also, also from a visual aesthetic point of view, it just looks better. If it's just bland slides, if you're in the slide, you can make this lively, you can put the passion in. This will engage your students much, much more than just box standard PowerPoint presentations that you might be recording. Can I use this in the classroom? And the answer is yes you can and I'm going to show you now how that looks like. Hello and welcome to the classroom. Uh, I am going to show you now how to set this up and it is just as easy as if you did that at home. So what you need to be sure about is where are your cameras in that uh, particular room that you're in. Uh, to find that out we're going to go ahead and insert the cameo as we did earlier. You see that my preview is actually active, but I'm not seeing it yet. So if that's the case, it's not a big problem. Uh, it will show in presentation mode. Just be certain which camera you need to address. In this case, this is a USB camera that is right there embedded in the monitor in front of me. So I select that. I select a good shape. You can play around with the shapes again. And I would always check this against the cameras you have in that particular room. In this example, I'm going for the hexagon and uh, just need to position my camera a little bit better. And I also need to position myself a bit better. So I need to move the screen, tilt it a little bit. So I am in the center of my cameo. So again, this is really down to what your room allows and how flexible the cameras are in that room. And this is the full screen view. And that will make for some pretty cool visuals in that classroom. So one word of warning right at the end. So you see here a recording from a live online class. And there is one issue when you use this as a PowerPoint life and how to do this. I leave a link in the description below and you can also find the link now on top of the screen. You see that you're not actually appearing in the cameo. So that only affects the recording but not the live presentation. The students will see you in the live presentation, but they do not see you in the recording. Now, this is not a problem with your computer or with a classroom computer or with the Teams client per se. It is a problem if you use this in PowerPoint Live, and this is a known limitation. So in this blog post by Casual Meta in July 2022, it actually says that Cameo in PowerPoint Live will not be shown in a recording, web or mobile clients. Now this is hopefully something that Microsoft will eventually fix, but if you just share your screen uh, in your Teams presentation, if you do this in a classroom or otherwise, or if you use a different screen recording software such as Panopto, then you should be fine. It records what you see on screen. The issue is just in PowerPoint Live. So how about that? I hope you enjoyed this video and you can take something away from it. If you found this useful, then please leave a like, comment below if you have any questions or comments, 
and please subscribe to my channel. So this makes the channel viable and enables me to provide more content for you and your teaching needs and the students' learning needs in the future. Thank you very much and have a lovely rest of the day. Thank <laughs> you.